Hey guys, welcome back to part two. We've been with the male version of Gary V. Clinton, <laughs> <laughs> do you like that? Is that a compliment for you? Yeah, it is. I like that. Clinton from Sprinkler.media. Now, we've been talking a little bit about social media and how you know it's really evolving out there and if you're not evolving, you're gonna be completely dissolving in this marketplace. And last time yep. I looked, social media is one of those things that is pushing the needle in businesses mm -hmm. today. And we've been talking a little bit about Patrick Byron and his business, how it's sort of exploded and gone to a whole new level, mm -hmm. okay? Especially in that sort of digital space. Mm -hmm. Now, Patrick and I having a conversation about a month or so ago now, Clinton, and we were talking about he was gonna do these Facebook Live auctions, yes. right? Yep. Tell me a little bit about Facebook Live. Again, you have agents who are thinking about doing it and then they don't do it because they're nervous that, you know, the whole auction may fall to bits and then they go, oh my God, I'm gonna be judged by my people, etc." Yep. And I love what you've been explaining, especially in part one, you know, social media is about storytelling, mm. okay? So tell us about Facebook Live. Um, yep. Why should agents be using it in today's market? Okay. And if they do have an auction that could be like going 50-50 each way, should they still go live? Yes. Um, the answer is always going to be yes. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I say that is, um, and this is a, an example that we had with Patrick going into a live auction where what had actually happened is uh, before the actual auction took place, there was two registered bidders. And he did a really good piece at the very start of that video to say, hey guys, um, this is one of those auctions that potentially may go well or it might not. Yep. And he prefaced it with that. And then they went in, they filmed the auction, and luckily it actually ended up being a situation where there were 80,000 over reserve on the property. Wow. Now that was captured on live, but on the flip side, if something was to go wrong, it's actually a really good opportunity for you as an agent to get yes. in there and show the work that you're doing, doing because yeah. not every outcome is going to be a positive outcome. That's right. Exactly. I mean, I know the majority are, I think it's something like 87% clearance rate. Well, at the moment we're like really high, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So statistically it's going to work out well in most instances, yes. but the second reason why we're looking at Facebook Live and using Facebook Live is very simply because right now there's a big push from Facebook, especially in 2017. Yes to get Facebook Live and video okay. into the feed. Right. So a lot of people talk about, hey, should I be using my personal account? Should I be using my Facebook business page? page. Yep. Yep. Um, the reality is you want to use your business page because first of all, you do the video, yep. Facebook Live, okay. and you're going to find that you get quite a large reach off you the back do. of it. You, you do, you do. Like you get more views on that. It's you like, do, and more you, engagement as well. Exactly. Like. Um, I remember seeing that one actually where Patrick was like, he's like, uh, um, we've got a couple of registered bidders. I don't know how it's going to go, but anyway, let's go and check it out anyway. Yep. But you could see all the people engagement, the views coming up, the comments coming down the side, yep. you know, the love hearts, the, the likes, yeah. fingers going up and so forth. Yep. There was so much, much more engagement than you doing a normal video, yes. then taking it back and then putting it up like a day later or 10 minutes later. Yep. That live video does have a profound and much, much better effect mm. than your normal video that you would normally do. Yeah, Is that totally. right? 100%. So so for example, you might go and do a live video, you're going to see potentially a thousand, if not a little bit more in terms of organic reach. Yes, yes. And then what you can do is you can go and boost that and you can, like we were talking about in part one, yeah. be very specific about the audience that you want to reach. Yeah. And then that, that video is going to take off. Okay. More. What are your thoughts about boosting videos and so forth, like Absolutely sponsored do it. ads, you know, Facebook Absolutely ads? Do it. So, I mean, there's a couple what of What sort of budget should you be looking at, you know, in oh. terms of, is, is there a budget you would say to an agent, you know, what you should minimally spend? Well, on, on Facebook ads? No, not necessarily, because you can go as low as five, ten bucks. Yep. You can go all the way up to hundreds, thousands if you want. Correct, yeah. So what we've found is it really just depends on what your budget is for the month and how many people you want to reach. But for a couple of hundred bucks, yep. think of it this way, right? If you get in there and you go and do direct marketing at the moment and you mail out and you do these letterbox drops, how much yep. is it going to cost you? Oh, totally. Right. Cost per lead. Hundred percent. So <laughs> your cards are expensive these I, days. I can tell you now. Letterbox droppers are expensive. <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. I can tell you right now. We've got examples where we've gone and spent just a couple of hundred dollars, mm -hmm. and we've gotten in front of five thousand people. Wow. Ten thousand people. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's so huge. straight off the bat, there, your reach wow. is much much higher and much more cost effective, cost effective versus yeah. you doing a letterbox drop. Exactly. Which a lot of the times today you get your junk mail and just like straight into the recycle yeah, bin. Yeah, standing right? over the bin and you put it Where in. Where here, it's like they're seeing it on their feet. Yes. And they may stop, look at it, maybe click on the video, see what happened, etc. Yeah. Well, the other cool thing with Facebook Live is, and you'll notice this, you might see 50 comments, a couple of, you know, quite a few likes, a uh, few shares. Yep. You can't actually see that in Facebook Live unless you actually click on the Facebook Live video. Yeah to actually see what's actually going on inside it. So it actually drives more engagement. Right, okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, one of the other things uh, that, you know, I was talking to Patrick about this 
nearly three or four weeks ago now, if not longer, I said to him about like letterbox drops. How can we direct letterbox drops to the social, to the social media stream, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And you know, we were just quickly saying, I said to him, well, you know, you do your tune in to my Facebook live tomorrow, 12.30 for this property. Yep. I said, well, when you do your auction invites, why don't you put down there, you know, you can also tune in to our Facebook live feed tomorrow, 12.30 with, you know, your particular address. Because yep. a lot of neighbors are going, oh, I don't want to walk in there, you know, Harry and, you know, Sue might see me and I don't want them to feel like we're watching them. Yep. So people could actually, you know, tune in mm. a neighbor and actually start to see yep. the, the Facebook live feed, which is again, pushing more people. Yep. And the same thing with possible a just sold. Mm. If you're putting a just sold card out there, you know, what, what the property is sold and tune into the auction yep. from last Saturday, check it out on my Facebook page, whatever, whatever. 100%. Yeah. 100%. So again, dr using traditional still yes. to push people through to the yep. digital social media space. Well, yeah, because it all ties together. Yeah. It really, really does. It's interesting because Facebook will be a very good return on investment for a business. Yeah. But you don't want to neglect necessarily other ways of people grabbing attention of your yeah, business as well. Yeah. But if you can drive it into Facebook, mm. it's a great place to do it because that's where you're doing your storytelling. Yeah. That's where you can do a lot more in terms of information on video, photos, whatever it may be. Totally, totally. I saw a great post he put up the other day with his little daughter Lily. Yes. You know, exchanging the contracts. Yeah, that was a really good one. But I thought that was brilliant because it was making seeing the softer side and yep. seeing the family side of, mm -hmm. of Patrick is human, he's a father, yep. also works, you know, <laughs> brings a daughter to work after picking up a daycare. Yep. But some of the things that I'm saying, is, like again, you talk about this storytelling, um, Clinton. I saw, it wasn't through Patrick, but it was another client of mine, and I just saw it last night. And this little old lady, mm -hmm. um, must have sold the house, must have been in the house for many years, I think she had been living there for 50 odd years. She's in hospital, mm -hmm. sells a house, and the guy captures the moment, I don't know if he was meant to or not, and just hugs him, mm. hugs the agent. Like I had this little goosebumps coming up going, what, how nice is that, you know? She had tears in her eyes and she's hugging that. And I thought, wow, what a great way to sort of capture that moment. You know, a lot of time we just see people standing in front of the signboard, yep. but imagine you actually capture the moment where you're gonna congratulate them and you're, you're one of the being, and they're hugging you going, yeah. thank you so much for all your help. Yep. I think that's, that's the Kodak moment type it thing, is, you know what I mean? Is, it is. Um, that's the bit that tells the story, that, that humane. I mean, mm. I, I love guys that stand in front of signboards, they get it wrong, a lot of my clients do. Yep. I'm not saying it's wrong, it's good because it's telling a success story, but capture that moment where like, you know, they're signing the contract or, you know, they're, they're, they're hugging you, you know, or that handshake or whatever it may be. Yeah. I think that's the moment that people go, wow. Yes. That's the connection there, yep. right there, that emotional connection. That's the beauty, and we were talking about this before, that's, that's the beauty of not trying to create something, but actually documenting what you do. Documenting, love it. So document over create, that's a big Gary Vee thing. Yeah, I, yeah. I love that guy. <laughs> absolutely hey, I'll rip it off, it sounds good. Yeah, no, it's, it's absolutely brilliant. Um, so very simply, right, if you had somebody come and follow you around for half a day or a day, yes. Imagine the amount of content you're going to get out of it. So I know if you guys go and watch um, Patrick's content, or if you can yep. look back at the last three weeks of it, yes. you're going to see snippets of all this kind of stuff coming out. And so um, if I could get you guys actually to put the the photo up there now, yes. there's a there's an image of Patrick walking out of a train. Yeah, right. When we did that trip into the city and back. Yes. And he's walking past the mascot suburban sign. Right. And it's just the lighting, the way it hit the image. It was a very arty kind of shot. Yeah, yeah. It looks yeah, like something yeah, out of Mad Men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? And it was a brilliant shot. But we wouldn't have got that if it wasn't for the fact that we're actually there filming for. Two Two hours right and just pulling these little bits of gold and that's the bit where you content. get that, that bits of content yeah where you just and, you're documenting it and it's the same on your story yeah right? absolutely so having somebody document that you know signing of the paper or yeah you know getting some feedback from the owner yeah or that moment where the uh, you know a lady that's been living in the property for 50 yeah. years is breaking down and crying because she's so happy, happy. yeah 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 you're gonna get that stuff through documenting documenting so the idea is get someone to follow you around with a camera <laughs> absolutely absolutely well, I know you've got a new little tour and you've been using it today yeah you're catching I'll, it in. Can, well, I'll show you guys really quickly so um and this doesn't take away from no the editing here tom just no, do no, it no. let's roll it <laughs> i love it so here's the thing right um there's always a place for the professional videos that take place like yes. your property listings you want to make it look nice and, and schmick like here and i with tom and i 100 percent. yep but the beauty is so many people have smartphones these days yeah um and so literally handheld you walk around you document you get some footage of it you can yep. use um, apps in your phone to go ahead and edit it, add music to it. Wow. For myself personally, if you go and have a look at some of my stuff, it's raw, Yes. but it's so straightforward. Okay. Like you can spend 20 minutes yep. grabbing some of the footage that you've got, adding a bit of music to it, and then putting it up. Right, okay. And that's okay. the beauty of it, because it's straight from your smartphone, straight to your audience. You don't have to go through a media agency. You don't have to do X, Y, and Z. Right, You document 
it and you put it out there. Understand, beautiful. So what's this little contraption you got here? This looks oh, pretty this cool. Is, this is, uh, I picked this up a couple of weeks ago. This is a what they call a DJI Osmo. Right. So it's a, it's essentially a gimbal. Yep. So you can move around, you can do all these smooth shots and stuff Very with cool. it. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. I've just plugged a Rode uh, micro mic into it. Yep. And this is the other side of it too. So if you are going to use a smartphone to film, yes. get a microphone to add to it. Okay. And the reason for that is the audio quality is going to go up a level. Yeah. And one of the most important things, and I know that uh, for anyone that's in professional video will tell you this, yes. the images are great, yeah. but the audio is the most Crap. important. Yeah, it, I agree. If, if yeah, it's yeah, crappy, yeah, you don't watch it, right? Exactly. Yep, yep. You're trying to put the volume up, you're trying to hear and, yeah, yeah, and whatever yeah. else. But yeah, exactly. no, that makes a lot of sense. So these are little things where you can start like walking around, yep. capturing, yep. documenting, yep. telling your story 100%. and the whole bit. Wow, this is pretty cool. Hey, listen, Clinton, mate, thank you so much for popping in and, and joining us and talking about social media. If Happy people want to get in touch with you, yep. because I can just see agents going, man, I'm worrying about prospecting, listing, selling and negotiating. Yeah. Um, and I know Patrick's one of those guys that's sort of like, he's on the go all the time. Yes. What can, how can they reach you or get in contact with you? And yep. you know, what can that look like? All right, um, and I don't know if you guys can do this again, but maybe pop up the handle for Instagram or for Facebook. Yes. Um, so you can very easily find us. It's sprinkler.media, okay. Facebook and Instagram. Okay, cool. And if you go and type that into Google, sprinkler.media. Yes. Um, then you're gonna find our website as well. Fantastic. Okay, so very simple. And what I'd suggest that any agent does that's thinking about doing this kind of stuff, get in contact with me, and I'm more than happy to have a chat, give you some tips, because I think the consulting place to start, yeah. if you can do it yourself, I would 100% push you guys to do, do that. Do it yourself, yeah. Because you will get to a point where maybe, hey, it's something I wanna hand over to somebody else. Correct. But you need to kind of understand the ins and outs of it before you let somebody else take over. So Clinton, thanks for stopping by. Guys, My it's pleasure. time to level up your business. Seek this guy out, sprinkler.media. This is where the next level of business is going, right? New yeah. Environment yep. 2017. Let's do this. Thank you so much. Cheers, buddy.